Hi, everyone. I'm Bells. Welcome to Live Bingo. If you saw the video on Monday, you learned how to make your own bingo board. Um, if you didn't see that, don't worry. Um, you can make your own bingo board really quickly um, and you can play with that. So in the comments in just a second, you'll see a list of words that are all kind of camp themed and you can make a bingo board using that. You can just make a five by five grid and you can use that to just write in those words and that can be your bingo board, so no worries. But if you did see that video on Monday and you made your own bingo board, go ahead and grab that bingo board you made. You're gonna need that. You're also gonna need something to cover those bingo squares with. So it can be um, pen caps, it can be goldfish, it can be anything you have that'll just cover those up. It can be little torn up pieces of paper, anything you have at home. Or you can even do little dots with a marker in the corner. But if you do that, we're gonna play a couple rounds to maybe get a couple different colored markers. So we're doing live bingo, get your homemade bingo board, get something to cover those bingo squares with. And if you haven't made your bingo board yet, no worries, you can make one really quick. Just check out the comments for those list of words you can write down. Um, and if you wanna play this at home later, you can always draw pictures of those or you can watch that video that we posted later on. I see that Sarah has jelly beans that she's gonna cover those squares with. That's awesome, because you're also gonna have a nice little snack when we're done playing as long as you wash your hands beforehand. All right, so we'll wait for a few more people to join us and to make sure they have everything they need, that bingo board and something to cover those squares with. Um, and while we're waiting, I'll let you all know, we have an end of summer campfire, closing campfire coming up soon. And if you want to be involved in that, we would love your help. Um, if you know a camp song or just a song that you love or a skit or have a fun talent that you want to share with people um, we would love to have you send that into us so you can send that into program at flyinghorsefarms.org um, and we will put that in our closing campfire so we'd love to have all of you involved so you can do that and we will have that in our campfire so if you have everything for bingo, get that in front of you, get that bingo board, get whatever you're going to cover those squares with, and we are going to get started. All right, so if you have that in front of you, go ahead and right now that middle square, that is your free square, it should say free on it or just have nothing in it, go ahead and cover that square. Because that one, you just get it right now, it is free. And then as we play i am going to pull out squares so pictures that have something on them so like this one that has a campfire on it i'm going to pull those from my bingo bowl here you may not know this but bingo actually was an original um olympic game so this is a a really old bingo bowl here it's the original bingo bowl so it's it's um an artifact so I'm gonna pull these out of the bingo bowl, the bingo bowl, and put them up here. And if you have whatever I pull out of here, if you have this on your bingo board, you go ahead and cover up that square. So if you have campfire on your bingo board, you would go ahead and cover up campfire. So if Sarah had campfire on her bingo board, she would cover it up with a jelly bean. <laughs> All right, and then once you get a full line covered up, so whether it's across like this, up and down like that, or diagonal, so in a diagonal line, once you have a full line covered up, you're gonna write in the comments in all caps if you can, and you're gonna write bingo, because that's really exciting. That means you got a bingo. And then because if you've been to camp before, you know that we love to celebrate things. We're gonna do a bingo dance and I will teach you that bingo dance so you can do it at home if you would like but I I will do it right here with you as well um, and to do that you basically just act like you have a giant bingo board in front of your face and you're gonna do this you're just gonna go bingo 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 
and you're just going to do that a little bit to celebrate. So when you get a bingo, you write bingo really big in the comments, and then we do the bingo dance. All right. Are we ready? Okay. I hope you all said yes at home because we are going to get started. All right, I'm gonna pull out the first square is crayons. If you have crayons, go ahead and cover that up on your bingo board, crayons. Just like we have at Arts and Crafts at camp. Brands. All right, are we ready for another one from the bingo bowl? Let's see. Ooh, an outpost tent or teepee. Just like we have an outpost if you've ever gone all the way past the ropes course down to outpost. So if you have that on your bingo board, Go ahead and cover it up. So, so far we've got crayons and a teepee or outpost tent. All right, another one from our bingo bowl. Let's see, ooh, a paint bucket, a couple paint buckets. So, you have paint buckets. I wonder if these paint buckets are for painting a building or for color o painting a person. I don't know. All right. So if you have crayons, make sure they're covered up. If you have a teepee, make sure it is covered up. And if you have paint buckets, make sure it is covered up. All right, and ooh, popsicle. If you have a popsicle, make sure it is covered up. I would like a popsicle right now. I love when they bring popsicles to camp. All right, ooh, another food, Newman's own salad dressing. If you put Newman's own salad dressing on your bingo board, go ahead and cover that up. And we're getting close to where some folks may have a bingo. If you use that free space, you could be getting some bingos soon. All right, next one from our bingo bowl. Ooh from one of my favorite spots on camp, an archery target. If you have an archery target, go ahead and cover that up. So, so far we have an archery target, should be covered up. Ooh, Sarah's two away. Popsicles should be covered up. Salad dressing should be covered up. Paint buckets. Teepees or outpost tents and crayons. That will be covered up. All right, the next one from our bingo bowl is ooh, a beach ball. If you put a beach ball on your bingo board, make sure you cover it up. All right. Let's see, Sarah, let's see if we can get you a bingo here. Ooh, the sun. I don't know what the weather is like in Columbus today, but down in Cincinnati, it is very rainy, so I wish the sun would come out. All right. So the sun and the beach ball were the last two. Let's see what's next. Ooh, some music notes from Spotlight. Wonder if these are the notes to the camp song. All right, Sarah, did we get your two yet? If not, you got a tree. 
Make sure you cover up a tree. So the last few we did were a tree, music notes, the sun, and a beach ball. And it looks like we had a few more people join us, so I'm just gonna list off all of the ones you should have covered up on your bingo board. So crayons, a teepee, paint buckets, salad dressing, a popsicle, and archery target. Oh, not yet, Sarah. You're so close. All right. The next one. Fish. So if you have a fish, go ahead and cover that up. I would like to go fishing. Sounds like fun right now. All right. Get another one from here. Ooh, the cabin. Wonder what village this one's from. Hmm. All right, so we had a cabin, we had fish. What's going to be next? Let's see. Ooh, the basketball hoop from our sports court. So if you have a basketball hoop, go ahead and cover that one up. All right. All right, Sarah. We're going to get you a bingo soon. I can feel it. These next two. Campfire. If you have a campfire, go ahead and cover it up. One more. All right. One away. So those last two were a campfire and the basketball hoop. And this one is a mug. Ooh, I hope it's a mug full of hot chocolate. So if you have a mug, go ahead and cover up the mug. So those last few, we had mug, campfire, and the basketball hoop. All right. And the next one. is a canoe. Ooh, nice. So if you have the canoe, go ahead and cover that up. I love canoeing at camp. It's one of my favorite activities. So we had the canoe, we had the mug right before that. So make sure both of those are covered up if you had them. And ooh, and the fishing pole. So we've had both the fish and the fishing pole. So check and make sure you, if you have that fishing pole, you've covered it up. All right. All right, Sarah, we're gonna get your last one. I can feel it, this is it. Oh, I got two. Sunscreen. If you have sunscreen, make sure you cover up sunscreen on your bingo board. Sunscreen. All right. So we had sunscreen. We had a fishing pole right before that. Let's see. And oh, a camera. A camera so you can take some pictures of all those memories you're creating. Nice. It's a great one. So if you have a camera, go ahead and cover that up. All right. What's going to be next out of the bingo bowl? Ooh. This one I think is my favorite thing from camp, s'mores. 
If you have s'mores, go ahead and cover those up. S'mores. Go ahead and cover up s'mores if you have them. Do we have any bingos yet? <gasps> Sarah's got a bingo! All right, good job, Sarah. That means it is time to celebrate with our bingo dance. Ready? I hope you're doing it at home with me. All right, bingo, bingo, bingo. Bingo, 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 bingo. All right, good job, Sarah. Congratulations. All right, so we can go ahead. I'm gonna put all of these back in the bowl and we can play, hmm. Actually, it looks like we have a couple more people on here. Let's keep going because we don't have many more in here and we can keep going until we get one more winner. How about that? I think we'll do that. So we can do one more winner or until someone gets all of their board covered. So if you get every single square on your board covered. So Sarah, you can win again even. All right. So I'm gonna pull out another one and Sarah, you can keep playing and anyone else who is watching can keep playing as well. So we got flowers, flowers. If you have flowers on there, go ahead and cover them up. Ooh, another spotlight one, ukulele. If you have the ukulele, go ahead and make sure that is covered up. <laughs> just snacking on too many of her jelly beans to cover the whole board. I would do the same thing. All right, if you have a wish stick, go ahead and cover that one up. So if you put a wish stick on your bingo board, make sure that's covered up. All right, and if you put a leaf on your bingo board, cover up that leaf. We had a wish stick and we had a leaf. Ooh, a whisk. If you have a whisk, go ahead and cover that up. And if you have goggles, you're in the pool that would be that would be really nice right now so goggles or a paintbrush if you're doing some painting if you painted a paintbrush on your bingo board go ahead and cover that up oh and we only have a couple left in here If you have a flashlight, go ahead and cover that up. And if you have the big red barn, if you tried to draw that on your bingo board, this one is really good. This is the one that Steph drew when she made her bingo board for that video on Monday. And she did a great job. It looks exactly like the big red barn. If you drew the big red barn on your board, go ahead and cover it up. And our last one, a beach towel or a pool towel, whatever you want to call it. If you're not at the beach, you may call it a pool towel. Go ahead and cover it up. All right. So if anyone has a bingo but didn't write bingo in the comments, which I think some of you might, we're just going to do the bingo dance to celebrate because all of the pictures have been drawn out. So every single square should be covered on everyone's board. So 
we're just gonna do a big bingo dance together to celebrate, ready? And remember, it's like you have a big bingo board right in front of your face and you're just doing this and singing bingo along. All right, ready? One, two, three. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. All right, nice. Awesome, so you can watch this again if you wanna play bingo again. You can also play this at home. You can go back and watch Steph's video from Monday to, to, um, to make you another bingo board or to make one if you haven't made one already. And you can also um, write down what all of these are and you can um, draw them out of a hat or you can draw them and draw them out that way um, to play bingo yourself. So it's really fun. You can play it as many times as you want and you can teach your families and friends how to play it too. Um, so you can play it in person or you can play it over a screen like we just did. So I hope you had fun um, and I hope this is something you play at home as well. Um, so we're gonna do a couple more things this week that are live. So on Friday, we are gonna be live at the same time at 11 o'clock um, for a dance party. So I hope you all join in then. It's going to be really fun and we'll have um, a special guest for that. So join in. It'll be very, very fun. We'll do lots of dances. Um, we also are getting ready for our closing campfire. So if you would like to be a part of that, if you have a song, a skit, a special talent or dance or anything that you want to share with camp and with the camp community, um, with our campers, our families, anyone, um, Go ahead and send that into program at flyinghorsefarms.org and we will make that a part of our closing campfire. We would love to have you involved in it. Um, and thank you for watching. Thanks for joining with Bingo. I hope you had fun because I had a blast. See you soon. Bye.